Hey, Planeswalkers, Mithras here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome, my friends. Today's episode of Top Deck. We are covering a top 200 Rakdos Rogues deck. So pretty exciting. This one's by Lloydy. Um, congratulations on hitting the top 200, my friend. Appreciate everyone tuning in here today um, to check out this list. Now, with that said, flip me a like if you enjoyed today's video. On top of that, if you have questions, if you have comments, let me know down below. Would love to hear from you. Also in the description, you can find the Discord information and the timestamps where we will cover the strategy objective of this list. We'll cover your boarding for best of three. We'll play that competitive magic here today in both best of one and best of three. And then we'll close out with a little bit of a retrospective on where this might fit in the meta, my friends. So um, with that, thank you as always and appreciate all your support. Um, great ways to do that down below in the description. So um, here's what we got going on. Rakdos Rogues, my friends. So this looks pretty close um, to Rakdos Sacrifice stack that we actually just ran um, but some key components in this one that we are doing differently um, so we have thieves guild enforcer obviously it's rogues is the other big piece we got robber the rich and we got relic robber um, so these are all going to pack a punch they're going to add a lot of value into this deck um, and add a really really nice flavor again hence the rogues um, in this shell now, a big piece here, though, is we still have Awaken the Blood Avatar, which is huge. Um, this card is just an absolute knockout card, um, and we love, love having it in this deck. Um, we still see some of that traditional uh, Steel Sack uh, abilities here, but we don't have as much power because we're not running the full Sack Shell. Um, we do have an ability with Plum the Forbidden. A big piece of this can help you with uh, Eye Twitch. It can also help you again with the Claims um, or things like Croxa. Um, or any of the tokens and those kinds of things as well. So um, strategy of Jack of this list, it's really gonna be kind of a mid-rangey list, um, adding the Thieves Guild and the Robber the Rich and the Relic do kind of make it a little bit faster. Um, so you really wanna be dropping these things in. They're also gonna be very beneficial against some of those late game decks um, that are really about uh, you know playing stuff that you can play around potentially. Um, so we'll just have to keep an eye out on that. But again, more of an aggro mid-range deck um, like we talked about here. Oh, and we can't forget Rankle Master Plank pranks on the top end there. Um, so then when we get to our best of three, so sideboard here, we got a few things that we get to pull with eye twitch. We got necrotic fumes and um, we also got pest summonings. I made sure to make sure that it's set up right for you um, when it gets pulled over. So those are a couple of big pieces there to first call out. Then when we break this down, we'll talk about aggro mid-range and late game. So aggro decks are those things like Mono Red, Mono White, um, Boros, Naya, Gruel, those guys, uh, Winata, um, all those fun adventure decks. Um, here, what you have to do is you're really gonna look at things like Red Cat Melee. Um, you might also look at the Akron War. You may wanna consider Call of the Death Dweller as well. Um, I also don't mind Nighthawk Scavenger in that because um, you can just go over the top and also uh, gives you life back and all that fun stuff too. So um, that's what I would look to move in, what I would look to move out. Uh, potentially, obviously, again, it's good for some of these um, claim cards, Plum the Forbidden, all those things, um, Bastion of Remembrance to kind of slow things down. Um, in terms of moving things out, you know, you could always look at the top end. You could go a bit, little bit lighter on Bastion. You could go lighter on the Plum. Um, you could think about how you want to do the Steel Sack stuff um, as part of that lineup as well. Um, or you could go lighter on the ro Relic Robber because you might not be able to get in as fast um, and better to go over the top kind of a thing and play that play that match. Um, when we get to mid-range, mid-range uh, similar here, we also got the other Sacrifice decks. So Rakdos, Sack, we got Golgari, we got um, our lovely uh, Mardu, and on top of that Jund. And then we have mid-range uh, Rakdos mid in there as well. And the Pest, Witherbloom, those kinds of decks. Um, we have Is It Dragons, Is It Tempo, Mono Blue, uh, Tempo, and uh, Snow, whatever you want to call it, um, and a whole host of other things here. Um, so in this one, we kind of want to go similar if they're creature-based. If they aren't, um, then we'll look at things like Duress. Uh, you might begin to look at things like Roiling Vortex, potentially. Um, and uh, if they are playing graveyards, Tormod's Crypt. Um, then as we move into late game, these are all the Doom decks, four color all the way down to Orzhov. We also have the Ultimatum decks, Turns, 
uh, team returns, team or ultimatum. We got Sultai, emergent, Sultai ultimatum. Um, and then our traditional kind of control, dimmer, Azorus. Um, we got Azorus blank and a few other things here um, in the late game. There, I really like the haste stuff because um, we certainly like we talked about because you have an opportunity to play around. Rolling Vortex is going to be a big one. Um, Tormont's Crypt, if they're pulling things back. Oxygonus, I don't mind either. Um, and then things like Duress for sure, um, or even Nighthawk sometimes. Um, but just kind of depends. So there I would begin to move out things like Claim the Firstborn. Um, you might still want to keep your village rights. Uh, you might want to go a little bit lighter on Plum of the Forbidden, um, just as a couple examples there. Um, Bastion of Remembrance might not be as good because um, if they're running Exile, that card is not going to help you as much. So those are a couple things that you can move out um, of this deck. So that is the strategy for your sideboarding uh, against aggro, midrange, and late game. We covered the strategy objective of this list, really a mix between um, that sacrifice deck that we just covered but also with the pace, uh, making it kind of that aggro, a little bit more on the aggro side um, and, and allows you to play against uh, your opponent's decks uh, with your opponent's decks. Um, so uh, really, again, aggro to mid-range. So let's go ahead. We'll play this competitive magic here today. Really looking forward to it, my friends, um, and seeing what we can do. And we have have to make up for some of these uh, lovely 750s and we'll be off to the right start again. Rakdos Sacrifice today, we're doing the Rakdos Rogues and a whole host of other decks there for you um, to check out on the channel. So thank you for checking in as we get close to our end of June season. Um, so I wish everyone the best in closing things out. We do have the tier list coming soon. We just did Friday Night Meta. Um, we'll make sure we get you a nice snapshot here uh, and talk about some of those key changes here this month. Um, additionally, we got our historic stuff coming too, so keep an eye on that. Um, and uh, maybe some spoiler stuff, so we'll see. All right, so we go first. We'll keep this. I will actually start with this. All right, looks like I'm on a red. So we'll see what we can do. And adventure deck. Ooh, cleave. Now, next turn, we could actually get Exodus in there. Well, we're going to do this instead. Bag the Gruel. We got some through, and is this each time? So we can put cleave on that. We'll see what we hit here. Again, we still have Exodus that we could drop. Problem is that it allows them to sack this, so we have to be careful on that one too. So we can get three, we can get our cleave. We could play that. They could double block here with those two. I don't think they will, but we could try it. Okay. 
we'll load two on this. So that should give him two tokens. Perfect. So we'll get three damage in there. So they're dead in one more turn. trade here now we'll get two the best part is we can sack all those now and we can do this but we could actually play this guy whenever we cast we can return non-land creature card if we want, uh, we can do this. Sack three. Let's grab this. Doing this just to show it. So we'll get Awaken the Blood Avatar <clears throat> when we attack in anyway. We'll deal three. They're probably going to rope us though. So what's going on here. And that's what it looks like. So we will hang out for a minute. Because they're really upset with the rogues deck. So that's one of the things that you can be careful of. So when you do play Awake in the Blood Avatar, you might lose um, on the Relic Robber there uh, with those tokens, uh, as we as we just saw here. But very, very nasty with the rogues. Um, rock those rogues here. And they're definitely upset. I am sorry that your Magda Gruel deck lost to our Rakdos Rogues deck. All right, so we got a lot of value out of that. And that trigger gives us game. Woo. Good way to start out here with our Rakdos Rogues. Moving on up. Plenty of time to hit Mythic still. No rush. We got our Mythic Qualifier already. All right, match two. This. Here we go. We go first. We can keep this. Nice going first. So we did it already once. Get to do it again here. Might be a mirror. Very well, could be a mirror. Ooh, that helped us. Um, do we want to go with the double red? Or do we go black? I think we go black. Gonna kill the robber. Oh. Ooh, that's too bad. Here we go. Yeah. 
I would probably pitch the claim. One we can cast without. There we go. So we've gotten two of the reds. Just really good for us. <clears throat> we have in there though this is gonna hurt um i don't know if we will have enough here five so we can play this three Four. This thing takes what? Five other cards. So we'll have enough. It's going to be real close. <clears throat> so claims gone. That gives us five. Let's see what they play here. Everything in here and hope. Hope they don't have a direct kill card. There we go. We'll do the one white. Trigger is gone. There we go. We're still alive. Oh, they can go get their exile card now. Huge unlucky. So unlucky on that. Oh. Let's go thin. Oh, the tombs. They're going to get such card advantage now.
Oof. Oof. Oh, let's go thin again. This is pretty painful. Oh, crawling barons. It's gonna hurt us. It will hurt us. Again, blooded, blooded. Look at that. So bad. So bad. There we go. I literally have to deal this guy here. I needed one more graveyard card. Bummer. Just a bummer. So they just gotta make crawling barons a little bit bigger. And then they gotta. Bummer, bummer, bummer. We got shuffled. <laughs> Alright, on to the next one. Third and final best of one match here today with a Rakdos Rogues deck. Not much we could do against that. Not when we're not getting the cards. We get flooded. All right, let's see what we got here. And they top decks their fumes answer. Um, should we keep this? I don't like this. I like this one better. We'll dump that. Uh oh. They're going to have GY hate, looks like. Ooh. Let's discard one of these. Let's do this first. So, what do we have in here? Four. We need to play this. I'll get one of them.
It's a very similar to the last deck that we just played. So as long as they don't get that off again, and they get advantage again, hopefully they didn't, we don't get get it twice in a row here. We'll find out though. They can make the choice on the relic. They need Haven to block. I didn't do it. There we go. There we go. 2 1 with the Rogues deck. Not bad. Not bad. Like this version. All right. Now we're going to go play our best of three here. Oof. Let's get into our traditional standard ranked. Again, we did the other Rakdos sacrifice today. Rakdos Rogues. Whole host of other decks for you to check out on the channel, my friends. Oof. So for those of you joining at this point, thank you. Um, you can check out the, the beginning where we did cover the strategy objective of the deck, talked about BO3, uh, boarding. We did go two and one, best of one. Um, we will play first. This is an awesome hand. Not. Uh, this one is not much better, but we'll keep it. Put one of these back. Looks like a rogue stack. Is a rogue stack. So now we just need to get to our lands. There we go. Oof. 
We needed one. We need one. There we go. Probably Kona. There you go. But we're good enough to do it again. That's fine. We'll do this. There we go. Steel sack. Oh, so nice. So nice. Um, oh, we can do a couple things here. This one hurts some too. We can play Ox. We can grab this. Bastion's not going to be as good for us here. I don't mind Tormod's Crypt either. Drop one Plum. Alright, we'll try this. Oof. So as long as we get to the four, we're good. They're going to have a lot of stuff, though, to try and um, take things out of our graveyard now. Here we go. We'll keep this. Um, we will actually drop one of these. So now we have everything that we need in our lands, which is great. We'll play heavy off this right away. So they're going to have it as well, which is just fine. Rogues against rogues. There we go. Round and lock at three. So we got this. I'll go thin. Oh my gosh. We are all lands. Look at that. What do we have in there? Ooh. Uh, Death Touch, Menace. And they have drawn a lock. We 
give him the one draw. Ooh, there we go. And turn. We don't want to fill their graveyard too much. There we go. There we go. That helped us a lot, actually. That's big too. go get as much out of there as possible and we can hard cast Extus if we need to yes sweet it's victory all right ranking up my friends we are right there on the border on the border to mythic not bad Picking up those coins, claiming some prizes. Look at that, lovely stuff. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. Today we checked out a Rakdos Rogues version. Um, very, very nice, a nice mid-range one. Great, great ability to play around, play our opponent's cards, um, do a lot of things there. So we ultimately went two and one in best of one. We crushed it in best of three. Um, against Rogue's deck, certainly would have been favorable just the way this one's set up, which is great. Um, and we made that a reality. So, um, with that said, Planeswalkers, where's this sit? Um, probably, you know, I, I actually like this version a little bit better. Um, I'm the plum's nice, uh, still because you can always cast it and not sack your stuff too. Um, then the maybe the other Rocto Sacrifice one that we did, I really like this. Um, a lot of good different kind of unique takes and robbers just so powerful. Um, both robbers, I guess we could say. And it's good to see that we got everything kind of in use except for Rankle and actually Bastion. Um, so which is interesting. But best of one, uh, probably tier two. Um, same thing with with best of three. Probably not as strong in best of three per se, but I would say um, certainly works well. Uh, we saw that here today and, and that ability to get cards out of our opponent's hands and all those things always makes a huge, huge difference. So um, with that said, Planeswalkers, flip me a like if you enjoyed today's video. Other great ways for the channel down below in the description. So thank you, everyone. Appreciate the patrons, YouTube members. Um, uh, 
the subs, uh, Twitch support, all that. So lots of live stream coming, um, as well as more top decks. We do have the tier list coming, top decks for standard, historic. We got jank. We got all sorts of stuff going on here. Um, and looking forward to that. And check out the Friday Night Meta. So with that, Planeswalkers, hope you enjoyed today's uh, top deck. We'll see you again soon. Until next time, the thrust out.